Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do kind of a fun video, what's in my bag video. I love watching these videos. I know it's like such old school YouTube. Like I'm surprised I didn't make this video back in like 2011 when I first started making YouTube videos. They're all pretty much hidden by now, but I love watching this video. I feel like what's in my bag videos, it's a nice little way to just, I don't know, talk about our favorite things, what we carry on a daily basis, you know. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Please feel free to subscribe if you are interested in seeing more content from me. But besides that, let's get started. So my purse is a Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. So the Louis Vuitton Neverfull actually comes in three sizes. It comes in the PM, the MM, which is this one, the middle size, and the GM. I feel like the GM is the most popular size, but for me personally, it's way too big. Like this here is already a pretty big purse in my opinion, just because I am more of a crossbody kind of girl. Little tip, if you are looking for a designer bag, if you have your heart set on one, watch eBay and Poshmark. I got this bag from Poshmark. Um, this bag retails for well over $1,000 and it pretty much goes up every single year. By the way, please ignore the nail polish. One day, one day I'll fix my nails. I got this bag on Poshmark for about $400, which is an insanely good deal. Still more money than I ever thought I would ever spend on a purse. But when you think about how much these go for, I never thought that I would find a Neverfull for such a good price. And the reason why it was so inexpensive is this corner here, let's see if I can get it to focus, is a little bit damaged. As you can see, it's not a hole. It's just got kind of a crack in it. And the girl who had it before me, she actually brought it to a cobbler to kind of um, see if they could fix it. And they put some sort of like, almost like a spray paint on it. You can kind of see the red poking through, but you can see that it was kind of fixed. Regardless, it is not a hole. It's not even noticeable. Like I seriously forget that it's even there, but I think the girl who sold this to me just didn't even realize like what she had, like how much she could have sold it for, even with that slight damage to it. Um, this bag is so, so, so sturdy. It holds so much. So I'm going to show you what I have in here. This purse is kind of like my home base, if that makes sense. So I'll switch out to my crossbodies pretty often. I love this bag for going out and going shopping, especially in New York, because in New York, they don't do plastic bags anymore. By the way, I hope you don't mind the circus going on behind me. It's really nice to just have a bag like this and be able to just throw everything in it for the day. Yeah, let's get started. Let me show you what's inside. I don't remember if I told you guys that when I bought this bag i did get it professionally authenticated for only ten dollars it is not expensive to get something authenticated but to me that was worth the peace of mind and yeah let's get started so i'll show you the first thing that i keep in my bag um is this little pouch it's so cute i got this from target it says coffee fund focus so cute I don't have cash in here, but it is the perfect size to keep some essentials in here. Basically, the point of this is so that way when I'm switching bags, so say I'm using a different bag, I can just grab this and put it in my other bag rather than having to take like a whole bunch of things from one purse to another i switch my bags pretty often so it's really nice just to be able to grab this and i know that everything that i would need like essential things are already in here i really recommend doing that if you're somebody who switches your bags pretty often what i have in here i have a hand cream I don't know about you guys, my hands have gotten so dry this year with having to use hand sanitizer like 500 times a day. This is vanilla buttercream hand cream from Bath & Body Works. It smells so good. I really like these little hand creams that they have. They're only like, yeah, they're only $4 and they work really well and I find they last a long time. Tylenol. I get a lot of headaches. You never know when you're gonna need it. I have a Tide to go pen, which I actually finally just put in this purse because I find that it's something that I wouldn't put into my smaller bags and then I would always need it. I'm like the messiest person in the world. So now it's in my little essentials pouch. I will always have it with me. Next thing is pepper spray. You just never know when you're gonna need it. Have never needed it, but you never know. It's good to have. I got this from Amazon. I got like a pack of six of them for, well, my dad ordered a pack of six of them for all of us and it was super inexpensive. Sorry if the angle looks a little bit different. My camera just ran out of memory, so we are good to go now. I just showed you guys the pepper spray that I keep with me in my little essentials pouch. And the only other thing I keep in my little essentials pouch is this perfume. It is by Burberry. It's called Her. 
it's just a little roller ball and i don't know i like having a roller ball with me this one smells so good i don't even know how to describe it it's not like a clean scent maybe a little bit fruity i pretty much keep the pepper spray at the bottom of this thing because seriously i kind of hope i'm never gonna need it but so this is everything that goes from purse to purse with me you guys you would think that i keep hand sanitizer in here but hand sanitizer is the one thing that i just have a hand sanitizer in every single bag that i carry so the hand sanitizer that i have in this bag is actually a spray one from bath and body works as well sugared honeysuckle it smells super good i like having a spray hand sanitizer because i know you're not like not really supposed to but i spray my phone with it i spray my keys with it I kind of spray everything with it if I just got out of a store, for example, and I want to just really make sure everything is nice and clean, I spray it everywhere. So everything else in my purse, I actually have in a little organizer here, which I highly recommend getting one. I just got it from Amazon. You can just type in a Neverfull organizer. I think they're, for this bag, it's very essential because if you don't have an organizer, this bag is just like a dark pit it's like a never-ending big hole and everything rolls around it gets disorganized it does have a little side pocket of its own i just never use it i'd rather just use the organizer next thing in here is a body cream i like this because it's a little bit richer than the hand cream and it's obviously humongous this is white pumpkin and chai from bath and body works this one smells so good this is probably my favorite smell in the world. It smells like a really good candle. Like, you know, they're cinnamon fall kind of candles. It smells exactly like that. Next thing I keep in here is dry shampoo. I don't use dry shampoo too often. My hair does not get too oily, but it's nice to have just in case because I do have my days. The next thing I keep is more for summer. I never use it with winter, but I just keep it in here. It is Evian. It's just a purified mineral water facial spray. So there's nothing else in it. It's literally just water. If you look at the ingredients, it's just water and nitrogen to give it that like nice spray, but it comes out in a super fine mist. So if you're out during the summer and you get hot or you just want to like refresh your makeup, it just gives a super nice fine mist and it feels so good. I spray this all over my body if I'm hot during the summer. Next is my little wallet. This is just a little coach wallet that I also got from eBay. Not a wallet. It's like a little card holder. I don't really use a huge wallet. I used to. I keep all of my store cards and everything just at home. I honestly never really use them. Next thing is gum, which is... Okay, we got two pieces left. I thought it was empty, but I always keep gum in here. Next thing is a granola bar. You just never know when you're going to get hungry. I keep a little pen in here. This pen is so cute. I don't even know where I got it. But it's got like all these little crystal diamondy looking things. It used to have a keychain on it, but it broke off. Next thing, which I am wearing on my lips right now, I am obsessed with this, the Laneige. I know the Laneige um, lip sleeping mask is super popular, but this is actually just like the daytime, what do they call it? Lip Glowy Balm in Berry. I actually found this at Marshall's, believe it or not, and it feels so nice on the lips. It's really good option for daytime. I don't love the Laneige lip sleeping mask because I hate something that you have to keep dipping into. So this is a really good option. This is another product that I'm absolutely in love with. It is the... Courtney Shields Tula Skincare Glow Hour Brightening and Neutralizing Eye Balm. I'm really, really lazy when it comes to doing eye cream. Basically, you just kind of take this and you twist it up and it's kind of got like a little, like a peach color to it. I don't wear face makeup, so this is a really good option for me just to brighten up a little bit under my eyes because I do have dark circles and it feels really nice and cooling when you put it on. Just put it on and pat it into your under eye area and it just neutralizes the dark circles, but it's also, you know, like a treatment. So really, really love this. I got this from Ulta. Next, I keep a scrunchie in here. Um, I always have a hair tie with me. I actually do have a hair tie in here. I forgot to show you guys. It's it's in there. It's always in there because I always lose them. <laughs> but I do have a scrunchie as well. Nice little blue velvet scrunchie. Have some more Advil. This one is running low. I have a few sweet and low packets for those moments when you order a coffee from Dunkin' Donuts and it tastes like dirty sink water. Um, sometimes throwing a few sweet and lows in there can help. Sometimes it doesn't, but I keep them just in case. <laughs> that should actually be in my essentials pack. I have a little... Um, it's not an EOS lip balm. It's actually a secret deodorant. And it's, I've actually never used it, but I got it to keep in my bag. It's so cute. It smells nice and fresh. Of course, I have some receipts in here, don't we all? I have this little pouch and you might be like, what the heck? The reason why I want to talk about this is it is so handy for the winter. 
So this is actually a jacket that I got from Primark. Primark, Primark, one just opened near me. I don't really know how to say it, <laughs> but I got a puffer jacket. It's really thin, but it's really warm at the same time. Hi, Layla. Here's Layla. I told you guys, she's gonna be in every single video. <laughs> so basically the jacket that I got, it folds up super, super small and can actually fit in this little tiny pouch. So I actually do use this bag specifically a lot in the winter because the worst thing is in the world when you go into a store and it's just so hot in there and it's so cold outside so you're bundled up in your winter jacket and then you're like sweating in the store especially if you're in a mall and you're gonna be there for a while so i love bringing my never full in moments like that because i can actually take off that jacket put it into a little ball and put it in here and it fits right in my purse i keep a pack of tissues in here with a nail file again these things are not things that i feel like i need in every single purse um honestly don't use tissues a lot but they're in there just in case another hand cream this one is vanilla bean noel and i really like that one as well i have my um ray-bans in here i debated on getting ray-bans for a really long time because they are super expensive but honestly they are worth it like if you go outside in the summer when it's super bright and you put on regular sunglasses and then you take them off and you put on your ray-bans um, they are polarized and it just makes such a huge difference. They are the most comfortable sunglasses. They'll last me forever, like least. They were a really good investment. I don't regret getting them. Again, if you want to get a pair of Ray-Bans but you don't want to pay the price, look at Poshmark, look at eBay. I did buy these at the Ray-Bans store, but I definitely probably should have looked on Poshmark. There is a little zipper pouch in this um, organizer here. And in there is a perfect place to keep some cash because... I don't use cash a lot these days. Most stores don't want cash. I usually never have it on me, but I do keep a 20 in that little spot just in case I ever need it. And in that little spot as well, I keep this mini lint roller. And this is really handy because it's not a huge thing. I don't have to keep a huge bulky lint roller in my bag. Yeah, that's pretty much everything in my purse. Again, this bag is super durable. I think that the biggest size of the Neverfull can hold like up to 200 pounds or something crazy um this is the medium size i'm sure it can hold a lot as well but the straps are like super super durable this is a bag that i'm definitely gonna have for life um it's a great travel bag it's just a great bag in general and i know that you can get any tote bag and it'll work exactly the same you don't need a never full in your life but it's one of those bags that when you have one just feeling like the quality of it and like the leather is so nice on the handles i don't know i just love it even if you did get this bag and you wanted to pay full price for it i like to think of things as like cost per wear so if i go to target and buy a 30 dollars purse and i use it two times in my life that feels like a huge waste of money if i go to louis vuitton buy a never full for full price and it's like my everyday bag for years or even not my everyday bag if i use it just often for the rest of my life even um it was worth it so highly recommend this bag i hope that you guys found this video entertaining thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video